The imperative of business community engagement cannot be overemphasized. That is why the Lagos State Public Procurement Agency met with stakeholders with a view to stimulating seamless procurement process as well as ensuring compliance with relevant provisions of the procurement laws. On a daily basis, several businesses spring up in Lagos State and the state government under the Public Procurement Agency is saddled with the responsibility of engaging the business community by prompting them towards the best ways of doing business. This time, the agency is meeting with various stakeholders and professional organizations on evolving procurement process with the objective of enhancing effectiveness. The general manager of the Public Procurement Agency explains that the agency is committed to creating an excellent business dealing for business owners in Lagos. It is in our interest to create opportunities for business to increase in capacity, create employment opportunities, sustain themselves, create wealth, as well as foster innovation and contribute to the gross domestic product of the state. The Public Procurement Agency, being the bedrock of the state government interaction with the business community, providing services to the government, must continuously uphold the platform for entrenching excellent business dealing with members of the business community. We also hope to create additional awareness on competitive bids, registration and renewal process for contractors, suppliers, and consultants to the state government in order to achieve our common goal of shared prosperity for the citizenry and the business community. Employing the Keynesian income expenditure approach to measuring gross domestic product, some public procurement practices is a panacea to the healing economies of developing countries as it will help to reduce wastage, enhance effectiveness of government spending, ensure infrastructural development, enhance welfare of the people, increase their attractiveness to foreign aid, official development assistance and loans, and ultimately engender higher economic growth rate. A board member of the Public Procurement Agency, Mr. Ayo Adebusoye, speaks on the objective of engaging business owners in Lagos. The objective of organizing this annual program is to further enlighten our stakeholders that is existing and intending contractors, suppliers and consultants on procurement processes and comply with relevant provisions of the procurement law, regulations, manual and operational guidelines. And the Deputy Governor of Lagos State, Dr. Idiat Adebule, speaks through this special advisor on urban development and she emphasizes urgent need for an effective procurement process to curb the excesses of public officials. The theme of our discussion today is the role of public procurement in ensuring good governance. Public procurement is no doubt central to better and quality government service delivery to the citizens. The importance of an effective and efficient procurement process cannot be overemphasized as it will also serve as complement to further strengthen anti-corruption efforts and curb excesses of public officials to achieve more for the citizenry. Distinguished guests and all stakeholders, this program has therefore been put together in the interest of all to further enlighten us, particularly those interested in doing business with the Lagos State Government on the need to ensure compliance with the relevant provisions of the procurement law, procurement guidelines, procurement manual and operational guidelines. The significance of our collective commitment to the procurement law and implementation will guarantee our ability to get more for less. Let us therefore take the advantage of this forum to ask relevant questions on procurement processes and procedures. The submission here is that it is imperative to engage the business community for the state to thrive economically and this can only get a boost by enthroning a credible procurement system in the state. 
The Lagos State government says it is not relenting in its efforts in reducing unemployment in the state. While the Ministry of Wealth Creation and Employment trained 50 graduates on auto maintenance, repairs, and 200 unemployment youths on employability skills across the state. Skills acquisition for youths is one area the Lagos State Government is committed to in order to reduce the rate of unemployment in the state. This time, the state government is graduating 50 graduates trained in auto maintenance and repairs and 200 unemployed youths trained in various employment skills by West African Vocational Academy. The state officials and graduating youths are here at Adiyemi Beru Auditorium in Alausa, Ikeja. The Commissioner for Wealth Creation and Employment, Mrs. Uzamat Akimbile Yusuf, says this initiative is to imbibe an entrepreneurship spirit among the youths. The 50 of these graduates were trained on auto maintenance repair skills and 200 who were trained on employability skills. Those trained on auto maintenance repair were schooled on the following skills auto diagnosis, auto electrical, eating, ventilation, and air conditioning, heavy duty, diesel engine maintenance and repair. The emphasis is to school the youth in such a way that they are employed and also encouraged to embrace entrepreneurship, leveraging on innovative technology. The training has prepared them for the workplace as they now have edge over their contemporaries in the labor market. The trainers also take time to explain their experience with the youths. That our engagement with some of you, and indeed our engagement across the nation with many, of, many people in your age grade, tells us that Nigeria will ultimately survive, but you need some degree of particular change. Some of you didn't quite to the to the best of how we felt you should use it, we're not quite, we will quite maximize the opportunity. You know, for the past few weeks, you have been empowered with additional employability skills, like the Honorable Commissioner said, which meant that you have, you have an edge, either if you choose to go into employment, or even if you venture into your own entrepreneurial journey. And I want you to sit back, reflect on everything that you have learned over the past few weeks, and think of it as a starting point for your next level of greatness. And here comes the good news from the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Transportation. We are changing the state into a corporate and smart city. And for you to live in a smart city, you have to be corporate and be smart. Those roadside mechanic that we used to have, we build mechanic villages and put them there. With this system that Lagos State embarked upon now, I can only assure you that sky is the limit for you because the job you think you are looking for is the other way around. That was, it is a job now looking for you. The beneficiaries expressed their gratitude. All thanks to my trainers, all thanks to Wave, I learned a lot. I learned how to communicate effectively. I learned to be a good listener, not just listening, but listening well and being able to respond to whatever I have learned. When I got the training, the first thing that I learned was actually emotional intelligence. I learned how to manage people, how to do things that will affect me and will affect other people. This thing is a thing that is really working. And I beg us, please don't let this be the last. Let it be the beginning. Because several youths are out there with potentials, but they don't know how to go about it. And then the presentation of certificates to the youths. Now, with 70% of them being employed, we're still going to do more of this training because that, there's a lot of gap. 
for the skills in Lagos State, and that is what we are trying to fill up, to fill up the gap of the skills in the state. Since there is no West College job again, the only thing we encourage our youth to do is to ensure that they learn one skill or the other to give them job. The youth here have appealed that the initiative continues so that others can benefit and in turn become self-employed. And that's it on the program this week. We're glad you've been part of the show. The conversation continues on our social media platforms. I'm Loretta Chiogo. Bye-bye now.